Hello, Louisiana eggnog reviews. Well, okay, so about a month ago we did the Trader Joe's old fashioned eggnog liqueur, the liquor version <sighs> with like rum, brandy, blended whiskey. But this one is the wine base because some states, not Louisiana for sure, but some states you, you're not allowed. Grocery Probably Alabama. Grocery stores cannot sell liquor. No, it's so aggravating. So then Trader Joe's and <laughs> other yeah, so other companies come up with these wine based and they're like mimic the liquor. Yeah. So Trader Joe's there right there close to New Orleans sold both. This was seven ninety nine and the liquor was eight ninety nine. So I said, well, I'll buy both. So it says made with real dairy cream, serve over ice, but I have it from the fridge. And it says other than standard orange wine. With natural flavors. So it's orange like, wine. Yeah, from oranges. It's other than standard. I love orange wines. That's some of my favorite wine. It's very strange that, because it's not super common, it's very strange that that's what they would use for this. They probably got a deal. Okay. I've tried some very strong tasting things tonight. I'm a little nervous. This is 13.9% alcohol. Contains Don't milk give me a lot. Contains milk and eggs. And it's prepared and bottled by the Levesque Corporation in Mira Loma, California. And California does grow a lot of oranges, so... Orange wine isn't from oranges. No. Yeah, it's from oranges, right? No, it's called... It's it's no contact. It's um, So <laughs> it's processed similarly to... Uh, white wine, but the grapes do not, it's like no contact wine, like the grapes do not get contact to oxygen or something like that. I don't, I can, I don't know a ton about it, but it, it's still from grapes. It's just processed differently. Um, I don't think so. I think orange wine comes from oranges. No, I'm telling, dad, who worked, who worked at the restaurant? I'm telling you, I, I love orange wine. Orange wine. Orange wine, also known as skin contact white wine, skin fermented white wine, or amber wine, is a type of wine made from white wine grapes where the grape skins are not removed, as in typical white wine production, and stay in contact with the juice for days or even months. Okay, so I was wrong about what the no contact or what it meant. I said no contact. It I'm done. It's skin contact. So yeah. the skin, see, I shouldn't talk on the internet about stuff. I don't know, but that's why I looked it up. So it's skin, the, 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 the skin stays on the wine and it like steeps with the skin, so to speak, or ferments with so the it's skin. Not, nothing to do with oranges. No. So it's got this rich amber color and it's got kind of similar flavor notes. Or, I don't know, it's kind of similar to white wine, but I feel like has some of the flavors I like from red wine, but with a lighter and less tannic body. There, it's some of my favorite wine is white wine. It's really good. Oh, so if it, or, was, orange wine. if it was named with oranges, they would call it citrus wine. Probably. And you can get citrus wine. Okay. Okay. So Grape Abduction Company has a really good um, orange wine that comes in a liter bottle, which is nice. And Gulp Ablo, they also have an orange wine that is really good. So the orange is referring to the color. Yes. Okay, so now this is very creamy, like cream color. It's so like... Sommelier corner over here. Sorry. Okay. No, yeah. ser seriously, it's not like white. It's like cream. Kind of that... Oh, no, I was making a joke about us talking for 10 minutes about orange wine. Yeah. No, okay, so we'll clink the glasses. <laughs> okay. You got to hold the stem, though. All right, so it's like... Um, oh. So it's uh, like a yellowish white... And they use real dairy cream. So, well, let's check it out. So I've been putting it in coffee. <clears throat> and I've been holding on to it. That's why I, was, I jumped into the St. Brendan's. So I could um, not use it all. Mm -hmm. Okay. Huh? Mm, it smells like bubble gum. Now, the, the last one, they said they added cinnamon to it. I don't smell any of that. Bubble Maybe gum. some nutmeg. Uh, yeah, it smells like that. smells brown sugar. Yeah, it's like creamy, like you said, gum. Like, yeah. It smells like bubble gum. But I don't think they add any artificial flavor or anything like that. No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The 
but they, have, they would have to put it. Okay, so taste, you never had this before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we know it's made, made with eggs and milk. Yeah, to me it tastes like eggs, milk, and cinnamon. To me it tastes like bubblegum, milk, and cinnamon. I do get the cinnamon. I swear it tastes like bubblegum. It's very strange. So this would not be the eggnog you'd be buying. Mm -hmm. Now Mathurin sells Pennsylvania Dutch. I do like Pennsylvania Dutch. It is a real famous yeah. eggnog. They sell uh, Elijah Craig. No, I'm sorry, Evan Williams. Evan Williams eggnog and um, a couple of others. They all sell well, but um, Trader Joe's, that's a little different. No, that's not, that's not very good. You don't like it? No. Mm -mm. I like it, but maybe I have bad taste, you know? I can see it tasting good in coffee. <coughs> Yeah, like I'll just pour a little bit, oh. like about like this much to the bottom of the glass, the mug, and then I'll pour coffee in it. It's good, you know, but you don't like it on its own, standalone. So what score do you get? The $7.99 Trader Joe's. You made me give it a score. Wine um, braced. Wine ba braced. Okay, wine based eggnog. <laughs> wine braised eggnog. Um, so I'm just judging it on drinking it on its own. I'm gonna say a C. It's very sugary. I'm gonna say a C. So you won't be looking for this. Just go buy the Pennsylvania Dutch. Oh, that's the winner, boy. I can't imagine it's that dramatic of a price difference. Like, just do that instead. Yeah, the Pennsylvania Dutch is ten ninety nine. Yeah, I mean. And this is seven ninety nine. Yeah, not even worth. No, not worth it. Just. And this this is basically the same impression you had of the liquor base. Yeah, you just if you like don't, it. I just think it's not good. If you don't live in Louisiana, just go. You really want some egg? Just go run over to the ABC store. It's fine. It's probably on your way home. I don't think this is worth it. Well, <laughs> I had a feeling you were going to say that. What did you rate it? Well, I like it, but I have maybe um, lowbrow, you know, tastes. Like, my appreciation, appreciation of quality might be deficient. <laughs> I liked it a lot. Right, but it's it's a little different. You know, but I, I thought it was, um, you know, uh, I'll say today, it's really sugary. I'm not, I know they're adding a lot of sugar. But I think, um, <laughs> I think it's probably better as a coffee additive but uh um, the coffee cream where you, have, what? you don't need to add sugar if you dr put this in a coffee don't don't no. add sugar by any means but uh yeah i like it uh it's peculiar it's a peculiar product and the levesque if you look at the levesque corporation's uh, website they have some interesting products to say the least but um yeah um what do you give it say 87 b solid b i like it uh but it is a little different cool and that's it so merry christmas merry christmas so uh well we're, we're recording this on the third day of christmas so three french hens so lazy late bon temps late and we're going to end this review by saying go to trader joe's and buy some a little bit different products what was the third day on the 12 yachts of christmas oh um Crawfish that caught in Araby, a two Jacks recipe, and a three, um, number four was four, you drive me nuts. Yeah, I can't remember three. Five onion rings. Five onion rings. Six pack of Dixie. Seven street, 17th street canal. Eight by your mamas. Lower night ward, Tenneco Chalmette refinery, 11 Schwegman's bags. And a 12 Manuel's Hot Tamales. Three was. Um, number three. Three crappy eggnogs. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Hey, wow. What can we say? So, we're going to end this review, and that's it. Thanks. Sorry.